Okay, so uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a long time since we've we've put out a video. Um, several reasons for that. Um, main reason, if I'm completely honest with you, is that uh, the last turbo setup that I had on this car, um, this being the Insignia, was such such a, a, a wonderful piece of kit. It operated so well. Um, I wasn't actually in any particular rush to replace it with anything different. As you can see, that uh, that, that attitude has now changed. Um, what you have in front of you is a picture of um, four branch manifold, which I've purchased and I'm in the process of fitting to the Insignia. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why? The reason is, is because actually what I would like to do is I would like to have a little bit more top end power than the um, GTD 1752 was, was able to provide. Um, cracking little turbo, really good for, for round town driving and just a daily driver. Um, but a little bit limited in, in what could be achieved sort of at the top end of its power range. You know, the, the, the turbo itself was probably producing in a region of about 240 horsepower. It could have been pushed a little bit harder if I'd wanted to. But the truth is, I actually saw this manifold available on eBay. Um, just couldn't help myself, really. So I've sold the, the turbo setup, the GTD um, version, the ceramic ball bearing turbo. Um, that's gone now. And that's produced and provided the funding for um, doing this. So, you know, it's, it hasn't actually cost me anything. In fact, I've actually made a, a small amount out of it. Um, and I now have this, this nice, sexy four branch manifold. So where on earth did this manifold come from? So it was purchased from eBay for 200 pounds. Um, the manifold itself was a custom made manifold, as you can see. It was actually made for an Alpha 147 1.9 JTD engine. Now, believe it or not, um, the actual cylinder head on that vehicle is, is very, very similar to the Insignia version. Um, so if for any of you out there who are thinking, oh, if I wonder if I could, might be able to do something similar to this, simple answer is yes, you can. The manifold on the Insignia, the standard manifold, is not the greatest of designs, if I'm completely honest with you. For those of you that can remember what it looks like, you've got the turbo sitting down this end. You've got a log-style manifold. Unfortunately, one cylinder is venting directly into the turbo, which is not a bad thing. Cylinder number four has to come all the way down here and then eventually get to the turbo. So what you have is you have a lot of exhaust gases from from cylinders falling over each other and blocking each other in order to get to the outlet, which is down one end. It's it's a really poor design, um, mainly done, I'm assuming, for, for the way that it's boxed up and packaged up under the bonnet. Um, obviously, the four branch manifold is an improvement on that because each cylinder is able to vent into its own pipe and then obviously down into the collector at the bottom where it then obviously enters the turbo. All of the lengths of these runners are exactly the same, so there's no issue with, you know, exhaust gases falling over the top of each other and causing excessive exhaust manifold pressure and exhaust manifold temperatures, which obviously you would have with the standard log style manifold if you wanted to fit much bigger than the turbo I'd already fitted. Now, the turbo itself for the Alpha sits, as you can probably see, just about there now i may have to do a little bit of sort of jiggery pokery and moving that around a little bit obviously i'm going to have to make my own downpipe the turbo that i've selected is a gtb 2060 vklr so it's a turbo which is obviously a lot bigger than the one i had previously capable of up to about 290 horsepower um it is a ball bearing turbo so we are going to get some still pretty decent spool i'm anticipating seeing boost from about 2000 rpm upwards which is the upper limit of what i would be willing to accept really to continue to have a decent daily driver um, but this decent daily driver will also have you know a great deal of power potential in that turbo whether or not I go the whole hog for the whole sort of 290 horsepower is yet to be seen. But certainly it's going to be a lot more powerful than the turbo I had on previously. So custom builds. Here we go once again. Watch this space. <laughs> 